Alex Strong warming up here on championship court as we get set for our women's bronze medal match. Strong, 19 years old, out of Falls Church, Virginia. 11 total APP medals won in 2023. She's playing alongside Mari Humberg. There's Mari, calls Louisville, Kentucky home, played her collegiate tennis at the University of Louisville. Four total medals won on tour last year. The Brazilian native, they will take on Judith Castillo and Ava Radikowska. There's Ava right there. Radikowska and Castillo played that epic against Georgia Johnson and Millie Rain. It's going to be a tough ask for Radikowska, the 44-year-old out of Marietta, Georgia, originally from Poland, and Castillo to be able to put that semifinal behind them. They've had some time to let it sit, but they, yeah, but they it, were up. It's doing. It's shimma. It's doing <laughs> inside. There's Yuta Castillo, won a gold in Punta Gorda at... If it were me, it would be stewing. They were up 9-2 in game number three. Two points away from playing on championship seven, Sunday. 7-2 up. 9-1 up. 9-2 up. And, and, and so then then think about it this way, too. So then that's the flip side, right? So you had Castillo and Radikowska up. Honestly, probably should have won, right? Should have won. Should be playing on Sunday. They're not. They're here right now. Humberg and Trong got beat pretty handily in the first game played really well in the second game right so almost like a progression they didn't play well first game played well the second game didn't win had a game point had a game point they progressed right throughout their game is it they're a little more positive because hey we played really bad game one we played well game two didn't win okay but now we're moving on to bronze let's be positive here or is it Radikowska and Castillo, just like Chad said, it's stewing inside. Is that going to really bother you? Or do they say, hey, we know we should be playing on Sunday. We deserve to be there. Let's beat the heck out of these guys well, here. And, and that's where I think Castillo and Radikowska have to come into it and say, hey, we played really well. What did we do wrong? We let our foot off the pedal when we got up. Now it is... Our adjustment if we're going to play more tournaments throughout the year we have to learn from that we're good enough we can stay aggressive create our opportunities and now we just have to figure out how to close and how not to you know, get back on our heels for Hamburg and, and Trong like you said Dom they it was a very rough start for them in game one. They made their adjustments in game two, but what was the adjustment that they made is that they stopped going for as much. They developed the point and created their opportunities. They shortened up their swings, but it was just a couple of untimely errors. You know, in reality, on both sides with, with Rajkowski and, and Castillo and for Trong and Hamburg down the, down the stretch. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, is this come out, bang the ball around, and, and try to take some frustration out? Or is this, hey, we're going to work on some things, develop the points, make our adjustments so we can move forward into Delray? We know what we saw in the mixed doubles bronze medal match yesterday. We know which one of those we saw. And we saw a very frustrated Gabe Tardio come out and just gangbuster, yes. right? Like, he was... <laughs> I think it was, I think it was the, the food that he was eating during timeouts just but, changed the but it, hangry. It yeah. made him frustrated yes. to a point where he was like, forget this. I should be playing for gold. I'm not. I'm playing this bronze medal match. I'm going to destroy you. And I'm leaving here with a medal. Time in. Alex Strong serving at the bottom of the screen. Radikowska finds the angles. And we saw Yuta Castillo make some phenomenal plays in that semifinal. Yeah, we did. She played really well. So did Radikowska again. It, it kills them to be here right now because they had so many opportunities to be playing for gold. They did play so well, but... Strong Ooh. pulls the trigger. And that's, that's the no-go zone on Alex Strong. But that was not what we saw in the semifinal. Right? She got a little too big on those backhands. This one times it up perfectly, anticipated it well. Chad, you and I know Alex Strong so well. We've known her for years. That's her, her strength. Yes. Is the, her two-handed two backhand. Back back That's why she is a great right-sided player. Is because that two-handed backhand for her is in the middle. She loves it, relies on it. 
push long, side out. Zero, one, one. Drop to a knee to hit that block by a screen here. I think it was uh, just a little slide right here. Zero, one, two. Oh, nice. Nice shape. Drops the paddle head down. Comes around the side of the ball. One of the prettiest ATPs you will see. Side up. I think she might hit an out ball right there, but at least she got it down to the feet. She being Rajkowska. One, zero, one. Trong going up and getting that one. Well, good one-two combo there from Alex Trong. She starts to speed up and then finishes it herself. And she's a feel player. When she feels it and is, is in kind of a zone where she's playing well, that's where she's dangerous. That's a, that's a no no to Mari Humber. You even ball anything up that wrist. Flick is nasty. Zero, one, one. Too much from Radikowska. We are tied at one. Yeah, and a good job there from Trong. Yo. Not only getting a paddle on it, she was fully outstretched, but she kept that ball down below the net. Can't stress enough how important it is to have your opponents hitting from down up on their attacks. Good combo there from Radikowska. One, one, two. One, one, two. <laughs> Big rip from Humberg. Caught the tape, caught the line. Get the point. Yeah, good adjustment there from Radikowska, but lasting. Ball didn't seem to come up like she was expecting. Oh, good movement from yeah. Alex Trong. Going outside, inside, and then outside again. And then the reset attempt to Humberg, and Humberg puts it away. And those balls were very easy for Trong to try to speed up. But it was a borderline speed up. She could have gotten herself into trouble. She was smarter as far as taking the balls above the net, but moving the ball around again. And a good step in here from her and the strong overhead. Four, one, two. It's a good spot from Radikowska. She knows Trong's trying to get to the backhand. Trong slides just a little bit. Well, as she shifts to her right, Radikowska goes more towards the middle and it gets off the edge of Alex Trong's paddle. Smart idea there from Trong to throw up the lob. Well, and the difference with, with that offensive lob compared to some of the other ones that we've seen, it was a little bit more aggressive as far as it was lower and it had a little bit more pace on it. So once that ball got over the shoulder, very difficult for Castillo to try to catch up to it. Castillo, nice backhand rip. That's saying something because Castillo has some speed. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We've already seen the court coverage from her today. Castillo came onto the scene last year. Really made her mark in Sacramento back in 2023. Really was primarily a singles player is where a lot of her success was, is that's a deep service. Really worked herself into a quality doubles player. Serve almost looked out from here, but again, we're on the opposite side or opposite end of the court. 3-4-2. 3-4-2. Up. 
both Castillo and Radikowska sitting in the middle right there. Four, three, one. Radikowska into the net on the second attempt at the counter. Yeah, oh, eye formation right there, and we saw that a couple of times in the semifinal from Alex Strong. Yes, yo, she's being aggressive. She comes over for the poach, but we talked about where, yo, know, that's a situation where you have to finish it. Otherwise, both you and your partner are out of position, and in that time, Hamburg just didn't know where to go. That right there, though, from Hamburg, a nasty drop. Nice and aggressive with a lot of cut on it. 5-3-2. That's pretty much all of her drops, too. Stepped in for the backhand flick, but caught the tape side out. Yeah, but on that on that speed up right there, she's got one foot forward, fully extended. Doesn't have the base to really be able to brush up on the back of it. Similar situation though, but, but Radikowska filled in the open space. Exactly. So she recognized that Castillo was coming over. Radikowska slid to cover one we've seen Tron come over it's been Hamburg that's kind of got stuck a little bit on that left side and hasn't fully had the had the the, the shift in the switch all right you two need to stop right now because I'm so far away from my cough button that I can't yawn in here yawning up a storm <laughs> it has been a little bit longer day plenty of matches on the card today just missing that drop is Radikowska side out as they get one within one here. Five four one. Five four one. Otherwise, I'm going to reach across and slap you guys awake. <laughs> that is a tough reset right there from Humberg. Five four two. <laughs> the needle in Trong's reaction. Well, oh, she's set up. She's like, yeah, she's coming cross body, and you'll see it. Just load up. Radzikowska's like, nope. She's and doesn't even slide it on down the line. Doesn't even need to do too much with it. No. Just needs to get it to the spot. A pretty pass from Ava Radzikowska. Sails wide, we are tied at five. Well, that's a good drive right there. Nice and low with some dipping action. Humberg has to hit up on it. Well, I think she was expecting that Trong was going to step over there with the backhand as well as she was uncoiling. <laughs> Castillo <laughs> jumping through that running backhand. Trong starting to get into it a little bit more vocally. Talk about she's one of those athletes that when she's feeling it, it's all momentum. Yeah, we haven't heard the big come on out of her today. No, and that's when you know she's playing well. Yeah. When she's loud, you get some players who don't feed off of, of play like that or, or action like that. Alex Strong is the opposite of that. When she's going well, she's vocal, she's loud, she's supportive of her partner. And if she hits a winner, she will let you know about it. And that's a, that's another excellent drive there from Reg Kowska. Yeah, there's you know, two things with that drive. Yes, yeah, she's hitting it hard, but she's not hitting it at 100%. Right? She's adding shape to it. You guys are terrible. She's adding shape to it, and she's getting it to dip below the net. So a lot of the times, you know, those of you at home that are watching, when we think about driving, yes, it's good to be able to hit it hard, but if it's a linear ball and a flat ball, it's a lot easier for our opponents just to punch that ball back down. If we can add something with shape that has a little bit more pace that gets below the net, now the volley is much more difficult because we're trying to volley up from below the net, and depending on how hard that ball is, we can either crash forward or, like we've seen from Hamburg a couple of times, it's sailed deep. Similar to hitting a fastball, it's linear. It moves on one plane. It's the easiest ball to hit. Yeah, right. 
Time back in. Castillo and Radikowski leading 7-5. This third. Looks That's like it didn't deep. come up. No, it just slid through. Good timeout. Five, seven, Able to consolidate the timeout, earn the side out. Just long. Yeah, good leave right there from Castillo as she was just about to try and get on top of that ball. Nice speed up there from Humberg. Yeah, and another good set up there from Chong. This time moving her feet a lot better, getting her body in a position that she can be really aggressive with that top spin dink cross court. Watch Chong here. Watch that. Move through transition, move through transition, two that drops. One there. And then boom, the put away for her partner. Oh, that's pretty. Inside out flick. Yeah, and she doesn't, doesn't try to hit it too hot. So it becomes very difficult to defend when, you know, that, if that ball is harder, you just put a paddle down and block it back over. But trying to swing, try, guess how much power that you got to hit with. Oh. Wow, Alex Trong, the work she did in the middle of that point was absolutely incredible. Yeah, There's lots of work going on on both sides there. And the awkward overhead there from Humberg. It works though. It's not always about how pretty the shot is. Oh, you but can how win effective. ugly. Oh, right Off the knee. thigh. So in, in that situation, Castillo did a better job of sliding over and covering middle on the around the post defense from Rajkowska. But once that ball went back cross, she didn't slide again. So Humburg's speed ups going outside that right knee become very difficult to block on the backhand. Seven up after the forehand from Castillo went long. There's Tron starting to get into it. Well, that's such a good spot right there from her, too, as she has Castillo leaning heavy to her forehand side, and she finds a spot in the middle because she pulled her to the forehand first. Opens up that middle. Smart point construction from Alex Tron, and she has worked a one-point lead alongside her partner, Mari Humberg, 8-7 over Yudit Castillo and Ava Ratajkowska here in this bronze medal match. The IQ of Alex Strong is what has continued to impress me. The more that she gets into the sport, we've really seen her come into her own over the last 18 months or so. Yeah, she's playing really well. She's improving daily. Um, her practice sessions are getting a little better uh, over the past year, year and a half. But the biggest thing for me is, like we talked about, she's a feel player. She's got to play with a partner who can kind of help her get into that mindset get into that you know let's go let's get up here mari humberg that kind of partner is going to be very positive with her to get her into that mari i know is telling her hey be aggressive i can get you i can play defense well enough to keep us in points if we get in trouble but i want you to be that aggressive player that you are Trong and Humberg fell just short of the bronze medal in Sacramento. They lost in that match to Susanna Barr and Megan Fudge. It's a great spot from Trong that caused the pop-up. The big thing that Trong has done in the last four to five points is she's really focused on her foot movement. She's getting her body into better positions, giving herself you know, the, the setup, the time, the space with that ball rather than getting overextended or, or jammed up. Second serve. 
She's so <laughs> missed mad. Missed the overhead. She's so mad and vocal with herself right there why she missed that. But she tried to go a little inside out overhead, tried to be too cute with it, rather than just get it straight down. Still on second serve, 9-7-2. Humber cuts it a little too fine, side out. Yeah, she's trying to change the spot up. She wants the same spot twice in a row and then tries to pull it back across her body. Seven, nine, one. Chong's still thinking about the overhead. <laughs> Second Good wide. Just wide. We're taking a look at that. Strong, somehow getting the paddle and the head out of the way. Good idea for Matikowska, just couldn't convert. Ooh, Matikowska nice. stepping across right at the feet. She's not going to miss that ball right there. Ball popped up, Ratikowska big forehand two. coming in and finishing that. Side this up. is the third drive. Mari Humberg's return is a bait return. She cuts it. Typically when you see a cut return, people want to drive it. But she cuts it and keeps it so low, it's almost undrivable. Ooh, Crawls just, along the tape and falls out. Yeah, just rushed with the body movement there from Castillo. Started moving back to the middle before she'd executed that roll. Game point for Trong and Humberg. Second serve. Comes up short. Second that, serve. That's good pressure there from Castillo. Is Humberg hit a good drop that she had Castillo back off the line, but she stayed back. She's got to gain some ground on that. Castillo made her pay by keeping her back. Castillo and Radikowska fight off two game points. They get back on serve at 8-10-1. 8 10 one Just a tough ball to hit that offensive lob from. It was a little close to the body. So now she's not only having to lift, but in order to get the extension, she just had to rush out away from the body. Oh, Humberg misses the return. 10 all. Ouch. That hurts right there. Free, easy point for Castillo and Radikowska. Yeah, they fought off two game points. Yeah, and that's a situation there where Humbug's probably still thinking about the offensive lob that she pushed deep. Then tries to do a little bit too much on the return. Yeah, so hard in pickleball to try and you have to block things out yeah. so quickly because like we talked about, Everything happens so fast. Points happen seconds later. And if you're still thinking about the last mistake, it's going to snowball so quick for you. That's how fast matches can change. Must win by two, so this one will at least go to 12. 10 all here in this game one of the women's doubles bronze medal match. That's that patent Mari Humberg reach and roll. And mixed doubles yesterday, it did not work so well. Dylan Frazier had it sniffed out and was all over it. <laughs> Read the hand before it was even hit. No! Oh, she got Off a paddle the on edge it. guard. And now it's Castillo and Radikowska with game point. 
how quickly the tides turn. Well, Castillo and Regicasca know exactly how quickly they turn off to the semifinal. Yes, they do. Oh, Trung, oh, she was dead to right. Trung saved herself in the middle of that point. She accidentally floated a ball, got straight into defensive mode. Unreal. The resets from Alex Trong, fantastic in the middle of that point. <laughs> Through the middle, forehand winner. 11 up. Castillo has to sell that one and slide it down the line behind Hamburg. 11, 11, oh. She's got it. Oh! Oh, oh <laughs> masterful from Mari Humberg. So good. Masterful is the key word right there. She flipped that up and over. That's thought, a volley lob. And oh, I, thought, so I thought she was going to attack it for sure. Tough. And just had you to kiss Theo on strings right there. Game point number three. Unbelievable, ladies. Let's go. May have been the best point of the day. Defense for Castillo and Rechikowska. Oh, my gosh. On the fourth try, Trong capitalizes as she and Mari Humberg fight to take game one 13-11. Game two from our women's doubles bronze medal match coming up next here on Championship Court at the Chase APP Miami Pickleball Open. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. A typical insurance? You're just another senior. That is the third health insurance commercial with seniors at a farmer's market. Right? Don't get me wrong, I love a fresh heirloom, but it's like those companies think we're all the same. That's why I chose Humana. Before I signed up, I spoke to someone who actually listened to what I needed. She told me about benefits that were right for me, like vision and dental, all in my budget. I finally feel in control. What are you doing? Taking control. <laughs> Humana, a more human way to health care. To be clear, Fulfill is a protein bar, not a candy bar. Don't let its creamy, chocolatey goodness confuse you, or the fact that you hide them from anyone with a sweet tooth. You saw nothing. I saw nothing. Fulfill. We swear it's a protein bar. Welcome back to Championship Court Women's Devils Bronze Medal Match. Mari Humberg and Alex Strong taking Game 1 at 13-11 over Judith Castillo and Ava Ratajkowska. 
Return sails long. Now you got to let that go. One, zero, two. Come back into this game, refocus for Trong and Humberg. Okay, these points are ridiculous. What in the world? Chad said it. What are you going to do to win a point around here? The last two points of game one, and now this second point of game two. Trong was like full splits, digs one out off of Radikowska's paddle. <laughs> Let's just tee it up, yep. and we're just going to go here. <laughs> Mari's looking over at us right now and just smiling. Zero, two, one. Oh, that was... Roll too far. Yeah, very ambitious there from Humberg. Ball was really low trying to speed that up from a tough position. Zero, two, two. Theo can't make the dig as Humberg and Trong are on the board. I feel like I've seen more offensive lobs today than at any point on tour. One, two, two. Oh, yeah, again, but it's it's becoming such an offensive weapon right now. <laughs> right on cue. Yep. And beautifully executed. Oh, wow. Oh. This little punch yep. backhand through the middle there. I thought nice. I heard a no in there, and that ball landed a good three feet in. Yeah, that was, uh, it may have been it. Go. Yeah, I think it was a go. A go? Yeah, yeah I think it was a go. Sound very similar. Well, that's typically why we don't use no and go on the on the court. Oh, Trong <laughs> was sitting on the first one in the middle with their two-handed back and, and just punishes that. 2-1-2. Two, two. Oh, Castillo overcommitted and yeah. left Radikowska out to dry. Yeah, again, she was full sprint across. There was no stopping and getting back to her position. And once you go, you got to be committed. Grip it and rip it here on championship court. So the first one, Trong reads it and almost sits pancake. She pancakes that first one and then gets back to the next one, but a great job by Radikowska. Ooh. So she sold that very well. Two aggressive cross court dinks on the backhand side and then holds it exactly the same position but this time just drops the paddle face back and pushes it down the line completely froze strong out of ladies go at it <laughs> this is literally just grip and rip we've been here for 10 hours we're coming out swinging but castillo and reds need to be the aggressors if they're going to keep Humburg and Chong off balance. And again. Same spot. So for, for some reason, Trong has started sliding to the middle to open up the forehand rather than sliding to the sideline and 
giving herself that two-hand backhand, which is her strength. In. Oh, Ooh, get up. No. Oh. Oh, Went Roth and Adele on the backhand <laughs> overhead. But what I'm like confused about, Chad, the point before you're talking about is we see Trong. Well, we don't see Trong off screen. There we see her again. But again, she's opening up to the forehand, but she opened up too much. Yeah. She's sliding all the way to the middle and leaving that line exposed. Radikowska getting just a little big there. Yeah, missed opportunity right there. That paddle's on Radikowska. Or that ball is on Radikowska's paddle there. She and Castillo add two points to their advantage here in game two. Ooh. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Tricky from Trong to find some space. That's just a dirty forehand dink right here. And she rolls this perfectly. So strong. She had Castillo lean in middle just enough that she can't even get a paddle on it. Is that in? Yeah. Wow. Shaped it again. Shaped. Oh my goodness, well, was it in? It was in by a foot and a half. Yeah, got her again. She's just, there's something that Radikowska is doing. She, she's not selling it though to me from well, where we're at. What it, what I think it is, is Radikowska has been hitting the right foot of Humber. So Chong is trying to step over and kind of attack with that two hand backhand on the ball in the middle. Because Hamburg's been letting it bounce and get back behind her. But, she, but she's swings. moving too quick. Yeah. Radikowska once again gets the better of Alex Trump. And that timeout. As Castillo and Radikowska have worked themselves a 5-2 lead here in game number two. Yeah, again, and they're playing really well, but again, it's the overplay right now that's gotten burnt by Alex Trong, and she's sliding to the middle and just leaving the sideline open, almost hoping that Radikowska is going to miss it, but she's not. She's hit it three times in a row, and two times Trong didn't even get a paddle on it. The third time she just did get a paddle on it, but she's still so far off, and she's going to make not she's not going to make good contact with that ball. So Trong needs to slide over towards the sideline. What does Humberg need to do to make sure the middle's not exposed? Well, I wouldn't even have her slide, just open up, right? Just open up to the forehand right there. And if Radikowska goes there, you're sitting on it because the ball's on the outside, so it's to the sideline. Alex Trong has one job, and it's sideline. Mari Humberg has middle speed up. That's her responsibility, right? So all she's got to do is sit there. But she's opening up and sliding and just leaving a gap. Tied in. Five, two, one. Five, two, one. Off the tape. Ooh. Just long off the tape there. No idea. Couldn't see it. There's a camera in my way. Five, two, two. This time she tried to slide to the line a little bit more, but it, it was the hesitation in the middle of the point there in that ball in the middle that put them out of position. And Ratchkowska is going to keep peppering that line until Trong makes the, the adjustment. A little bit of a delay in play. Got to well, go track that ball down. The ball's <laughs> back here in the at the back of the convention center right now. Hundred fifty thousand square foot <laughs> convention center somewhere. 
The ball went up and over our tent and under the backcourt. I thought we might finally get our, our chance. No, still nothing. Side out. Side out. We got it. That's cheap. I got it. <laughs> Two six one. Oh, great defense from Trong there in the middle of the point. Yeah, she looked like she was going to get burnt right there, but didn't. They fight back. End up coming out on top of that firefight. 3-6-1. One. One. Inch their way back in here to game two, trying not to get it to a third game. Defense from Radikowska tracking it down. Lob retrieval, drop shot. And just the hands couple, right there on the two speed of, ups. Yeah, just just an easy easy punch on the two hand. Didn't over hit. Strong is oh. there. She got back into that point right there. And it's because Castillo couldn't create an angle on any of those overheads that allowed Trong to be able to come back in and attack that last ball. She missed an opportunity. That wasn't as easy of a ball as it looked when Humburg went down the line there. She had a ton of side spin on it. It pushed Castillo even further out. Seven, three, Excellent job from her getting that ball out wide, coming back in. Oh, just yeah. missed it wide. It's a five point lead for Castillo and Radikowska. Yeah, they're in the driver's seat right here is couple unforced errors here from Tron yeah. and Humberg. That's just great read there from Radikowska on the speed up cross. Almost cross board. It is cross body from Tron on Radikowska for sitting on that backhand. Keeps that back in play, and they have a commanding lead here in game two. But don't say that too quickly. <laughs> We've if, seen this if before. If history has taught us anything, no lead is safe. No lead is safe today. I mean, Georgia Johnson and Millie Rain. I mean, dug holes in all three <laughs> games, and we're just like. We'll dig our way out of this one nice and easy. Well, you know, they they kind of took the, the long route home. Scenic route. They, you know, a couple of detours, stopped off, take a, you know, little picture here and there. Got some in and out. Yeah. <laughs> Castillo and Radikowska on a 4-1 run since the last time out taken by Humberg and Trong. They have worked a six-point advantage. Here in game number two, trying to force a winner take all game three after Humberg and Trong took a tightly contested game one, 13 11. A little overtime in game one. Receivers. Time in. 9 3 1. 9 3 1. Still on first server here. That's good attack on the forehand from Alex Strong, not allowing Castillo to get through the transition area. Well, Cota still moving there mm -hmm. as well. You saw Castillo trying to step into it. 
Just ends up speeding up the ball into it. So, and now this time, she 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 took that one across the body of Alex Strong. She tried to tried to to just sit and hold. Strong's so mad. Oh she's yeah, like, she's so mad. She's like, why can't I figure it out? Right? Yeah. And the reason being oh is Red Radikowska continuing but to paint that line. And game number two, Chad, I will let you talk about I'll that talk about when, when we come we back. Come back. Yeah. Yes. We will get Chad's thoughts <laughs> right before game three here in this women's doubles bronze medal match at the Chase APP Miami Pickleball Open. No, since I've been using uh, Leo Rubber, I, I've had way less problem on my AT band and hips. It has been really a game changer for me, so I highly recommend it to everyone. That's what makes it so different. The whole idea about balanced compression, it improves your blood flow, reduces your fatigue. At the end of the day, you yep. feel so much better. I feel comfortable. I feel supported. I feel that like I can train harder, train longer, recover faster, and feel supported while I'm playing. And that's so crucial for me, especially in singles when I'm trying to play against the youngest. I'm not the youngest out there, but I try and play against the youngest. Nothing makes a gathering great like Eggland's best eggs. They're just so delicious. With better nutrition, too. For us, it's eggs any style. As long as they're the best. Eggland's best. BioFreeze USA Pickleball National Championships. November 10th through the 17th in Mesa, Arizona. Designed for pickleball's best. Amateurs and pros alike. 14 tournaments. 14 opportunities. Find your golden ticket tournament. Earn your title. Ava Ratajkowska making the difference in game number two, really peppering that sideline. Well, and that's what she's doing right now is she is holding the paddle in the exact same position as when she hits an aggressive roll dink cross court. So Chong is trying to guess which direction that she's going right now. She's moving just a little too soon. So Ratajkowska is just saying, you know what, I'm going to take it down the line every single time that you commit to the middle. Now... If Chong decides to start sliding to the line and she moves to it too soon, Ratchikowska is going to now roll that one through the middle. So she has the upper hand right now on Chong. Nice combination there from Humberg. Well, a nice pull of the trigger there from Alex Chong and then Mari Humberg sitting on it. And what Humberg did so well, watch the speed up from Trong. She reads that Castillo sitting in the middle. So all she has to do is punch that to the sideline. Humberg back through the middle to earn the side out. It's such an aggressive role. Like, is there anyone else that has more of an aggressive role? J.W. Johnson. Then Mari Humbert. On, the, mean, women's on the women's side? Nobody, nobody on the women's side. Her wrist action is so good. When she rolls that in forehand and backhand. Second serve. John comes up short on the dig. Second serve. Yeah, that ball just getting a little too close to the feet. Tough to dig, dig and get that one up and over. The 
Think, right back through the middle. I think Mari Humberg was aggravated enough getting lobbed in the semifinal match. She's <laughs> like, I'm just going to lob everybody now. And she is money with That's it right crazy. now. And they're off the bounce and volley lob. So she's mixing in every kind of lob you can. Ooh, just caught. Well, you know, going back to that lob, when you're hitting an aggressive topspin offensive lob, it's actually easier to hit out of the air than it is off of the bounce because you're, you're extended and you can rip up the back of the ball a little bit more. Castillo stepping across for the winner. Oh, nice shake and bake right there. Castillo reading the low drive off the paddle of Radikowska and stepping in and finishing. Oh, Humberg changed her mind. She wanted to do three different things with that one. Thought of about 3,000 in the second it took her to yep. make an actual decision. And it being the wrong one. No doubt about that one from Trong on the forehand winner. Yeah, better spot there from Trong. Castillo had the hips turned towards Trong on the cross court. Goes outside the right hip. Set up by a great roll from Humber. And he gets the pop up. Beautifully done by Mari. Oh, yeah. Look, that same spot. Look at you. <laughs> so, Chong and Humber got on the board first, but Castillo and Radzkowska answered with two. One, two, one. One, two, one. Tied at a game apiece here in our women's bronze medal, women's doubles Second bronze serve. medal match. Second serve coming. Chong standing up through that drive, and what happens as she stands up, ball comes up, sails long. One, two, two. Gets no action on it. Too long off the backhand side. We're tied at two. Two, two, two. Castillo. Oh. oh. All right. Chong's Strong gonna call, call it, it wide, wide right now, and Castillo's yeah, like, yeah. no, gonna oh. challenge this one, no question, straight away. Look at down the line, way yeah. in. Yeah. Yep. Not even. So that's an easy one. We'll get that answer out to Trish Stewart, our head referee on championship court for this bronze medal match. Well, we won't get it out. They well, will get it yeah, out. Yeah, they'll get it out. But this should be a quick answer. That ball clearly on the inner part of the line. Take another look. You're getting all technical with inner part of the line, and I believe you're right, too, yeah. Dorian. It's called precision. It's great eyeballs right there. Oh, <laughs> give me a break. Precision. precision. Yeah, you've been in the booth a long time today. <laughs> I have been. <laughs> Slap That's happy. It. It's just great well, shot. Right now, biggest thing they do when they go back and, and talk and give the answer for the review is they double check and make sure that the score, score. is right. You want to make sure that everything is correct when they come back in. Call on the court was out. I believe it will be reversed here. And should the call be reversed, it would be. 3-2 in favor of Humberg and Trong. Or uh, Humberg, no, excuse me. You got Castillo it right. nope. and Redskowska. Thank you. It would be, uh, it would actually be side out. Is it Johnson and Frazier? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wait. Frazier didn't wait. play in that oh, tournament. Wait. We're starting how we ended. Right, it, or we ending go. how we started. There we go. It's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Still can't even get that right. How about it? Here we go. Yes, the ball is in. So the <laughs> Because Dio and Radikowska do not lose a challenge. 
So video challenge goes the way of Castillo. It will be a side out. 2-2-1, two, two, Castillo serving. Aggressive fourth shot there, pushing Castillo back a little bit. Two, two, two. Ooh, she was Castillo on it, but overhead. the swan. And a quick side out following the video challenge. Got her again. This, but she tried to, she tried to slide. So Reg Casca went even tied it to the line. She is discombobulated. Slide. Right hip. Off the net court and wide side out. I mean, right now it is Alex Strong. It's mind games right now that Radikowska is playing with her on that ball down the line. If I'm her, I'm avoiding that as much as possible. Yeah, don't need to, oh, don't need to get Rev, Reg Casco yeah. the, the wide ball. Go in between the feet, hit the hit the right foot, if anything. Allow to speed up off the forehand. Another one. In. And again. Knew it. <laughs> Dare she throw up a third? She's not going to see another ball. Oh, yep. never mind. There's number There's three. three. Give me a fourth. Alex. <laughs> Five. Oh, oh, no. It's in. oh, no. Oh, no way. Unit Castillo catching the line. Get out of here. Four lobs, and then Castillo gets one. <laughs> And drops it corner pocket. Boom. <laughs> Puts her hands up. I'm grabbing the oxygen mask off to that one. All of that for a 3-2 game here. Okay, so now if this gets like this, right, and, and, and we've seen matches get like this before, you're going to see Castillo and Radikowska back up about a foot yeah. and a half, two feet off the kitchen line and then say, okay, go ahead. I dare you to do it because now as soon as you do it, we take one step back and, and you're going to get overhead. punished. Yeah. Theoretically, though, if they step back a foot and a half, shouldn't that open up more angles? It's not, not too much, not if they keep the ball where they should. There's ways to counter it and ways to not get in that much trouble. And how do you do that? Keep the ball in the middle. So if they kept their dinks in the middle, not allow too much angle, take a step off the, the kitchen line, they'll be all right. And very difficult to create angle off of a ball up the middle of the court. Harder, yes. Well, angle, angle creates angle. John so Alex is looking at it. everyone in the place yeah. for someone to give her an answer. Somebody give me a somebody finger to say it was an... out so I can call it out Just because I can't him... believe that well, she made that. What is the answer? That. Stop you going to Radikowska's backhand. That, that ball is in. Yeah. Oh, it's way in. And it's just that you can't. There's nothing she can do oh, about we it. we got to switch yep. now. Strong's going on the left. Which I was going to say... Now this is going to give Humburg more opportunities to either attack on the forehand or throw up the lob deeper over the left shoulder of Castillo. Three, four, two. Okay. Oh. 
Tron giving it back a little bit down the line, trying to get Castillo, but Castillo almost throws a change up there in the yeah, middle. Yeah, it just, it just didn't have enough pace on it there from Tron going down the line. 4 3 1. Mari Humberg encouraging Alex Tron. And switch back. Misses the return. And now they're thinking about it. Yeah. It's, it's in there, it's in both of their heads right now. 5 3 1. 5 3 1. Is just inside the corner. Perfect placement for Mari Humberg. Well, that's yep. just an easy wrist flick down the line for Mari Humberg. That's just patent. Oh, body oh. bag. Just throwing it straight out. You're just brutal. It is. You're just Castillo brutal. Got, Castillo got caught moving right here. Paddle was down. Listen, if it was me out there, I would expect nothing less from the two of you. Oh, we'd be ripping on you even hotter. I'm aware. That's good finish right there. Three, five, two. Oh, nearly a phenomenal dig by Humberg. Well, she popped up just a little bit. She's just going to stay right through it and push instead of getting down and coming up. Stay through, stay low, push through it. She was in the right position. That's a tough one to try to speed up right there. But also, too, if you notice that Humberg and Strong are no longer giving Radzikowska that ball cross court, predominantly going at Castillo right now. All right, here, squad. When as soon as they go to Radzikowska, it's to her inside foot, and then the next ball comes back from Radzikowska, and it's like, get away. Get away from there. Get away from that spot completely. We are not going to her outside foot. Headed into the end change, Castillo and Radikowska with a 6-3 lead. That's a good speed up there, but unless Hamburg had already moved to the line, very difficult with the ball dropping below the net that quickly and to be moving to try to speed up that last ball. Yuta Castillo holding her own as the target of Trong and Hamburg. So they try to keep that ball away from the outside foot of Radikowska. Got the correct server figured out. 631. Nice. Humberg kind of peeking over at us going, finally, I got that. Off a lob and then a put away instead of a lob, reset, lob, reset. I don't have to lob five times. <laughs> is absurd you hear Tron just now like 10 seconds after yep. the points over come on Lob City baby that's 
a good spot there from Hamburg. Goes just above the right hip of Castillo. She got across to the forehand, but laid the paddle back. Oh, good spot. I think that was right, it was right at her right foot, so kind of jams her up just enough. Five, six, one. Comes up short, but second serve still ahead. Five, six, two. Well, oh, ten. Oh. Miscommunication oh. there in the middle. Somehow Trong gets a paddle on it. Works out to be a perfect lob. And it's they six both, all. They both looked at each other. Yeah. Like, are you going or am I going? Who's going to hit the overhead six, right now? Right here. No one. <laughs> Still with the hand straight to the knees. Points have been really tough to come by throughout this match. It has been as that roll finds some space in the back of the court, but this match has been nip and tuck all the way through. Well, now a lot of life out of Humberg and Trong right now as the momentum is completely shifted. It was 6 3. They're down on the end change. Now seven, they're up six, 7 6. A four point run since the end change. Radikowska with the backhand. But it was a Oosh. better job because what Chong did is she slid to the line and Hamburg slid to the middle. So now Radikowska read six, six, that two. Chong was sliding, tries to go middle, but Hamburg was right there. Side out. Side out, but not before Chong and Hamburg come back to take a two point lead here in game number three. Six, eight, one. That's a great spot there from Yuta Castillo. She holds it on her paddle. Trong almost got stuck in cement right there. She was planted, not able to move, and she gets it just out of her reach. Strong came up out of the motion. Legs straightened out. Didn't have the push through on the extension. We talked about momentum, and just like that, it's back with Castillo and Radikowska. Tied at eight. As Strong and Humbert take another timeout. A good response for Castillo and Radikowska. Yeah, again, much needed because you had Humberg and Trong on a 5-0 run there on the end change, and now evening it up, and it's 8-8. Now it's, this is grit time. Now who can, who, who wants it more, but who can execute, right? It's who can execute in crunch time. That's what this is about right now. What I loved about Humberg and Trong right now is the spot that they just did fill where Radikowska had burnt Trong a bunch of times in game two and into game three, they've avoided it completely. They've only gone there once, and the one time they did, they moved correctly. Trong slid, Hamburg filled. I'd like to see them still continue to avoid that spot. Castillo all over it, all pressure. And she had that same speed up a couple of points ago, went to the same. Humbug sliding to the line to protect the change of direction, but it pulls strong so far across the court. Just out of the reach of Radikowska. It's an off-speed ball right there, too, from Trunk. She does not try and kill this and hit this 
a hundred percent. She just flips it to the line, finds a spot. If she hits that harder, Radikowska's on it. And the line was open as well. She got it. Oh, oh. the spin. <laughs> It was the spin from Hamburg. You heard, you heard Redzikowska as soon as it hit the paddle. Trunk all over it. We are tied at nine. Well, that was just phenomenal footwork there from Alex Strong. Looked like she got flat-footed, but then she jumped up out of it, split-stepped again, slid to the middle, and finished with that two-handed backhand. Rolled it long. Ooh. And now, match point for Mari Humberg and Alex Strong. That's, that's a costly yeah, error point. right there. They fight off one. Still one more match point to go. Second serve coming. Ten nine two. should end on an off lob with an overhead put away as Mari Humberg and Alex Strong take the bronze in our women's doubles. What a match. Yeah, I mean, how many lobs can we throw up in? And like you said, Dorian, that's how you end it, with a lob and then a winner. Beautifully done by Humberg and Strong, especially after they got to be pretty bad in game two, 11-3. A tough end to the tournament for Yuta Castillo and Ava Radikowska. Played well enough to be in hey Championship guys, Sunday. Played well in this match. Just could not get it done in the end against the constant pressure of Mari Humberg and Alex Strong. As our Saturday action comes to a close here at the Chase APP Miami Pickleball Open. Guys, lots of great action today. Biggest takeaway other than the lobs. No, I mean, it, overall, it's it's just the level of play, and we're seeing how quickly these players are making their in-game adjustments. Now, obviously, the ones that have made it through to Championship Sunday made those adjustments faster, but we always talk about, you know, ideally, we want to be in a, a, a two- to three-shot max where we make that adjustment, and the, the play's just getting better and better. Yeah, on the women's side, you have the one and the three seed going into championship Sunday. Then on the men's side, Riley DeHart, Will Howells coming kind of out of nowhere and making a name for themselves this weekend going to championship Sunday. Talk to Riley DeHart. It's his second championship Sunday. He went to championship Sunday in Sacramento last year mm -hmm. with Rob Nunnery, and he lost. So he doesn't have a gold medal on championship Sunday. Looking for that, so he's very excited. So, uh, again, some great Great play today. A lot of upsets. A lot of newcomers that we're seeing week in and week out. Got to love seeing that here on the APP Tour. We will see men's doubles coming up tomorrow. But first, starting at 10 o'clock live on ESPN2, we will have our mixed doubles gold medal match. The two seed Megan Fudge and Andre Diascu. They will take on the four seed Hurricane Tyra Black and Dylan Frazier. That match followed by men's doubles. And it will be the duo of Howells and DeHart taking on J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier. All of that action starts once again at 10 a.m. Eastern on ESPN2, live from the Miami Convention Center. We will wrap up Championship Sunday on ESPN Plus with the last three of our gold medal matches. Two days of tournament action down, one left to go. Championship Sunday still on the docket, but doubles action reigns supreme here in Miami today.